Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to this daily spiritual menu that set us right for the day and the day also right for us. Let it be the first spiritual exercise you undertake as you wake up daily. Switch on your cell phone and listen to Turning Point. Receive the prophetic prayers for the day. Listen to the robust teachings and the inspiring testimonies. Pray more on your own for a while and sing a new song of praise to God Almighty. If you do this daily consistently enough, it will connect you to a flow that will make you a better person each day. Please do this regularly. Welcome also to Wednesday, the eighth day in February 2023. Eight is God's number for a new beginning. God will open a new chapter in your life this day. So open your hand and heart to receive God's blessings for today and be responding with Amen. I receive it. A new beginning. A new beginning. That's what I'm receiving now. Receive that grace. God is restoring flows. Whatever good things stop flowing to any of you or through you, it shall be fully restored. God is restoring flows, financial flows, spiritual flows, inspirational flows, idea flows, anointing flows, and this woman, your own menstrual flow. All stop flows I command to be restored back today. Be restored back now. All flows are back. Thank God for it and expect your own flow back. Who is this woman? Your marriage is troubled by a strange woman outside in your husband's life. Your husband is hooked and a strange woman. He's no longer himself. And that breaks your heart and has brought a lot of problems to the marriage. I decree May that siege over your marriage be destroyed by fire. Your husband is under a spell. I command that evil spell over him to be broken. The other women or women are out to take him away from you. That will not happen. His heart shall be turned away from the strange women and be brought back to you, his wife. You are, there are diabolical powers over him. is hereby set on fire. Now do this, my daughter. If you have his photograph, anoint it and wrap it round with the anointed mantle, praying over it, this same prayer, for seven days consecutively. Do warfare prayers on him and make sure you fast for a day, at least one day fast within the seven days. This is a battle, so do warfare battle. Send, put a battle seed behind your prayers as God lives and his spirit is alive. Strange women's hold on him shall be totally broken. Your husband shall be fully restored back to you and the home. Now all pregnant women listening to me, I have an urge in my heart to pray for you today. I lay your hand on your tummy. I pray for you and the baby or babies inside you. You shall carry this pregnancy to term and deliver without struggle, without stress. Receive the grace of the Hebrew women. Negative dreams and visions that you have been seeing and hearing, they are not your portion. Receive grace and power to deliver in peace. Turning point global family, whatever may be happening around where you are, your territory, your country, your city, dangerously, dangerously and in crisis, any evil going on in your environment, it shall not touch you. Receive anointing for divine exemption, you and your families. You are divinely exempted. You shall only be hearing. It will not come near you. In the name of Jesus. I profess that to your life. You will not see evil. You will not hear evil. You will not experience evil. You are protected. And you are divinely fortified. Say amen three times. Everyone, please anoint yourself today against evil. Before going out. And if you are already out, when you get back home. February 8th celebrant. Your prayers. Be blessed. Your life is blessed and your new age is blessed also. You will live well. You will live good. You will live long. You will fulfill purpose in Jesus' name. Listeners, we are in the weeks of teachings and true questions and situations that listeners are sending in. Please send yours if you have any. First one today. Good afternoon, Daddy. Parents of nowadays are now returning dowries on their daughters, back to the Bruce families during engagement ceremonies. Is this biblical, sir? 
Wow, no, it is not. Dowry is biblical and it is expected. Abraham paid dowry on Reboika, marrying her for his son Isaac. I think the issue with some of the families that do this is this we are not selling our daughter mentality. It is a modern day uh, syndrome in some fa- in some Christianly educated folks or families. And it is not all families that do this though. In fact, in some part of Nigeria, the problem is that some families are even overcharging, almost like trading their daughter so much, discouraging young men from getting married. And some state government had to legislate against this practice. You know, different stroke for different folks. Dowry is biblical. Dowry is good. If I have a daughter to be given out in marriage, I will collect dowry. May not be too much, but I will take it and use it to do prayer release and bless, blessing over them. It does not have to be exorbitant, but it is required and it is acceptable. Next, is it whole salary of January that I should pay as first fruit? Wow, I have discussed first fruit here many times. Even a few days ago, I was still on it. If you believe in it and you are convinced you want to do it, then it is your whole salary of the first month, if that is your first income. But I have also said to us, first fruit should not be taught as a doctrine in any church. It should not be made compulsory either. If you did not pay first fruit, it will not be a sin, provided that you are paying your tithe and all other seed and offering that may be announced in your church. On the commission, we announce back to thanksgiving, sacrificial seed, and so on. Even those ones too are to be done by faith. Nobody should be compelled to do anything for God. We don't teach or compel people to bring false fruit in our church. Those who do it, they do it, but it is never mentioned on the pulpit or taught as a fundamental doctrine. Next, Daddy, how do I cope with a man that does not know how to say sorry and never take correction, even when people keep complaining about his character? This is the second year of marriage, and we quarrel a lot. He never accepts his mistakes. I did not see this in his attitude before we got married. Wow, you got married blindly because this character you describe were all in him then. Maybe, as they say, your love was blind. This attitude you describe does not jump on people suddenly. They grow up with them and you can't hide character for too long. Well, now that you are already married, to him, I can say patience, be patience and be calm with him, then tolerance also, and warfare prayers. Two wrongs can never make a right, and fire for fire will set that marriage or that home on fire. Singles, this is a lesson you should learn from this. Once you see character flaws in a would-be suitor, male or female, call it quit with that relationship, or else you will lick your wounds later. My daughter, do what I have just cancelled you. Along the way, God will touch his heart and he will be broken. Hope is a born again child of God. Next, as a Yahoo boy, is it good for me, for someone, to pay tithe from the money we earn from the fraudulent act? And also, I do stake bet Niger. So, is it also good to pay tithe from the money we won from bet Niger? Is really bothering me. I really want to know if it is right or wrong, sir. I, so, I will know the right thing to do. Wow, my, 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 my. You yourself call the work a fraudulent act. Your problem is not whether to pay tight or not. Your problem is that you are doing a sinful and ungodly job. How can you be doing Yahoo, frisking people of their money, hard earned money? That is stealing, that is criminal, that is wickedness. Drop that kind of life forthwith. But Niger also is not for a child of God. There are many decent and godly ways to make good and clean money. Please, God, uh, give your life to Jesus Christ. That's number one. Get born again. All listeners, please hear this. The first thing God is asking from us is not our money or material thing. It's our heart. Let's give our heart and life to Jesus Christ first. Then and only then is our sacrifice acceptable to him. So, if your conscience 
condemns you on anything you are doing, please drop it. If the word of God condemns it, please drop it. Let's take one more. Please, sir, we like to enjoy turning point life, but there is no turning point church in Eloni. How can you help us, sir? Wow, yes. No turning point prayer mountain or life washing center in Eloni for now. But join us online every Thursday and Sunday uh, in our services through our social media platforms as I regularly announce it. One day, God helping us, there will be a center in a learning. Please forward this to all of your contact and do so daily. As you listen to this audio message, you should subscribe to Turning Point Today. Do so now. All listeners in Abuja, attend the prayer mountain service at Kadu Life Tent Center after the fish market in Abuja today, as announced yesterday. Telephone numbers to call for more information, 0806-133-2800. Tomorrow, Thursday, is the prayer mountain in the Kedja Lagos. Uh, please be there. And also at Dominion City, Ibadan, Koloba Abekuta, Oshobo, and Akure, in two services as usual, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. It is opening the international door for me, O oh Lord. Call with your international passport and your global dreams. God will open the international doors for you, your practice, your business, your family, and your children. Finally, each time we receive the alert of your tight, personal, and corporate tithing, battle, thanksgiving, partnership, vow, and the 222 seed we are sowing this month, I pray for you specially. Do so as God gives you the grace. I speak to everyone's life today. You will do well. You will do good. Something good is waiting for you today. You will return with testimonies. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.